So, for those of you that have caught and done, I've just stopped recording the other video. But, um, so the first project I want to be doing is, is, is the router table. And um, as I mentioned, I got this from shopnotes.com. It says plansnow.com. I Google shop, shopnotes.com and it takes you to woodsmith.com. So I'm, I'm a bit confused. I can't, I can't even, I tried to find the link where I bought it and I can't even find it anymore. But it's, um, it's this ultimate router table. I hope you can see it from here. Um, the idea is I, I want to I build that. It's a very, it looks very sturdy, a lot of storage, a lot of, lot of great things. Um, particularly it's made out of MDF, so it'll be fairly heavy, but it's on casters, etc. but it's fairly cheap. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in my intro, but I live in Spain and getting plywood delivered and, and that is quite expensive here. So um, it's expensive in as much as no one delivers it unless you go and buy a bulk. Um, so I need to buy a lot of it. So in this case, MDF was fairly straightforward. I had a lot of spare MDF from a kitchen I built for my son's kindergarten. So I will base it on that. So the ideas of this project is to build it out of MDF. And I will start with this now. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes, right? Right, so just a close up, this is sort of the router table I want to build. Um, in the notes, this, the side panels, I'm not, I'm not going to show the plans because they're not mine, but um, in the side panels, we have, in essence, just two simple boxes, you know, four sides and a back. Um, I have the MDF here. The thing is, it's obviously too long. This is just a one sheet of MDF quartered. So I now need to cut them all one way, which I'll have to do with a um, circular saw because my table saw is this, this little Bosch. It's not going to be big enough to just do that cut. So I'll do that with a circular saw and then I will cut the piece side panels to the right size. I'll cut the back panel to the right size, which I need to somehow find in here. And we shall go from there. Let's get to it. Right, new day, lots of stuff going on here. Um, but I now need to just cut these to the right width, so sh strips down there. The biggest problem is the table saw, and I'll explain that now. Sadly, the footage I had explaining the issue with the table saw was too wobbly, so I decided to cut it. The problem was that the maximum distance between the blade and the fence is 20 centimeters and 23 centimeters on each side. So it's not wide enough to do the cuts I needed here. This is a common problem when I make furniture with this table saw and I have to use this pull out flimsy fence, which makes it super inaccurate and it's just a nightmare to work with. So that's why I'll be changing this table saw as soon as I can. Anyway, back to the video. So that's the four sides cut. Um, next I need to look at the tops. So the tops, so, so the way it'll work, this is the side panel. The back panel will fit inside here in a rabbit, right? So we're gonna cut the rabbits around the edge. I think that's what they're called, rabbits. Dado, dado in the middle, not sure, but anyway, you know what I mean. Sort of an insert. The, the back will be inserted in, so I can cut the back to the same, well it needs to be the same height. Um, the bottom is actually slightly longer and has sort of a, uh, a uh, I want to say triangular, but it's like two wedges sort of at the back. I'll show that a little later. Um, and then the top fits inside. Again, I'm going to cut data all around and the bottom and the top will fit into that. So what I'll do is I'll cut all those pieces now to the right width. Um, and then go from there. It should be as simple as that. Okay, so it turns out it's not as easy. I need to... Um, man, I get so confused. So I've got the two bottoms, which is quite easy. So one of these is for the two bottoms, but for the, for the two tops, they're parts of, each, of one of each of these, so... And they're smaller than the other thing that I need to cut out, so... It's a little bit tricky because I have a little piece up here 
what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut these other sides pieces out because I think these are all for the extraction thing. So if I have a little bit of extra on that, that's good. We'll go from there. But yeah, I'll see you later about that. So the worst thing about MDF is obviously that it's made up of little fibers and particles and whatnot and it makes this horrendous dust as anyone who's ever worked with it knows. Um, so I'll always hoover, but the worst is I've got a tiled floor in here because this is like a garage. Um, they seem to like to tile them here. Um, so it adds like this little layer of this fine, fine dust which makes it super slippery. So you'll see me cleaning it well. I must probably edit it out, but I always clean up after I can in here, especially if I can't use extraction like on my table saw. Perfect, let's go. dropped it. <sighs> Typical. So this corner is bust. But I'm just looking. I think it's fine. I've got a little bit of an off cut happening. So let's let's just mark that as an off cut. Actually I'll, I'll do this. Always, 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 always. So, you will see me often with this bandana, at least for the next few weeks. My wife thinks that it's pretty ridiculous, and that's the main reason why I think it's cool. But also, it helps me, you know, with the heat. It's super hot here, it's summer. Um, it's still quite humid, so I tend to sweat a lot being so large. Um, this just stops it from running in my eyes. And also it actually makes it cooler, which is for me totally counterintuitive. It said like cool mast or something on the, the packaging. I was like, wow, okay, let's try this. This is not gonna work. It kind of does, um, at least my head. The rest can't help. I always pray for a nice breeze. But anyway, let me get back to it. Okay, sides, sides, length of the, width of the sides, because that's what I need to do with these. Boom, boom, boom. Just quickly for this, it's fine to use the angle here. It's not 100% accurate, so I wouldn't use this for like a picture frame, but for what I'm doing now, this is more than okay. So let's cut that off and continue from there. So if I'm not mistaken, I have all the pieces. So I've got the top, the bottoms, the backs, and the sides over there. Now comes the job of, on the sides, putting in the rabbit. I'm pretty sure it's called rabbit. I'm so confused with these terms. Rabbits, dados, and all that stuff. I think there's another term for, I mean, Steve mentioned something like this, but anyway. So the idea is to get those done today, and if maybe I'll do the glue up. It's getting quite late, um, so a quarter to five. Kids need feeding and all that, but I'm gonna try and at least cut those with my um, palm router. Wish I had a you know router table for this, but soon. Okay, so this is the, my router table currently. It's a little bit wobbly, it seems, but uh, it's standing on a cable. But you clamp it down and it works. I have a little bit of sag in the middle. I, I use a big router down here, the Bosch um, Puff. 1400 Ace. I think it's a little bit of a waste, but because um, it's a really good router, it's got the high quality for, for at least for what I need. But the nice thing about it is it's super powerful in the table. So with my new table, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking of either putting my existing palm router, although that's super handy. I might buy another smaller one. Um, 
purely because the router lift I want to build is designed for palm router rather than, or like, you know, typical cylindrical routers. I think they're all similar. Rather than this one, this one's quite bulky with the body. I might use this more for should I do furniture and, and such things in the future, I'm not too sure. Either way, what I thought is for these um, rabbits um, or dados things, I'm gonna use this router. I haven't used this as a, as a proper plunge router in a long, long time. Um, it's always, always been installed here and it's quite difficult to remove from this. So, but seeing as I'm discarding this, I think it's time to pack this out um, and put it back into its original state with, with the base plate and whatnot and use it as a plunge top. So that's what I'll be doing now. And there it is. I used a, a little cable tie thing to hold down the trigger, which I think is now stuck in place. Nope, it still works, brilliant. Thank God. <laughs> so, what, 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 I know the segments were probably going to be long about some stupid router. Um, to skip this, obviously, but it's really funny because I hear the bolts that hold the space plate in place, right? I was, last night I had nightmares on where did I keep them, and I swear they were in here, and they actually were. That never happened, never. look that is spot on that didn't seem too scary at all let's go you can't see from the angle trust me it's spot on Right, I have now cut all the pieces to make the two external boxes. Um, I had some other pieces that I cut as well that sort of were the leftover pieces where I just went and finished that up. But I have the sides, the backs, the bottoms and the tops. I also put in these dados with the router that I had in my person, well my old person, my old router table. Um, I'm quite impressed with how it works. I always use this palm top one um, and, it, and it does a good job, but this is way more powerful and also more stable. I quite, quite actually like the bulkiness of it. At first you think it's quite clumsy and I think for smaller works I wouldn't want to use it really or for rounding off smaller projects, but even like, even like a cabinet like this, I think even the rounding off would be fairly straightforward with, with this thing. Plus the, the setting the, the depth is super easy on this compared to the, the palm top that I have. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I have everything ready. Ideally, I'd like to glue everything, but it's getting quite late. Um, Sunday evening, I need to help with the kids. You know, maybe I can convince them to go for a quick swim because it's sweltering hot. But um, yeah, it's 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 time to do the, the family routine. So I think I'll leave it here for this week, um, at least for this update. Um, I've got this week off, so I will most probably take more time during the week. So the next few updates should be a bit longer. But I'm actually quite happy with the progress. I, I, I can do the cabinets and the rest should be straightforward. Anyway, thank you for watching. You know, do the whole subscribe, like and bell thing if you don't mind. I'm pretty sure most, it's mostly my family and friends watching at this point. But you know, even if you guys do that, maybe someone within your friends list or that will see this. Um, and any traction would be appreciated. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye. Yes, I just did the twin guns.